Good morning and happy either Friday fun day or wacky Wednesday, however your teacher is going to use it. Um, I just wanted to give a little shout out to all of our staff. They're working super hard and this week is teacher appreciation week. So if you can give a quick shout out, either a virtual high five, write something, type something to them, um, say hello in their Zoom, thank them for all the hard work they're doing. They're doing fantastic work. I get a chance to uh, to redo one of my favorite books, and I gotta tell you, I've been thinking a lot about the beach. I love going to the beach. I love walking in the sand. I love listening to the waves. Uh, I'm always hopeful that I'll look out, see a little shark, but hopefully not soon at the same time. But uh, I've never seen a shark in the water, so, but maybe one day, maybe one day. So today, I'm taking over, and what we're gonna read is When a Dragon Moves In. I hope you love it as much as me. When a Dragon Moves In. Written by Jody Moore. Illustrated by Howard McWilliam. If you build a perfect sandcastle, a dragon will move in. He'll settle in all cozy and peep at you from the inside. And you'll wonder, how you ever got so lucky. With a dragon in your castle, you'll have a built-in marshmallow toaster and your very own raft. And a kite that practically flies itself. But best of all, no beach bully would ever dare stomp on your castle with a dragon inside. Of course, there's rules on the beach, so he'll have to hide his smoke from the lifeguard and erase the dragon prints from the sand. Eventually, you'll want to share the great news with your family. There's a dragon in my castle, you'll call to your mom. Mm-hmm, she'll answer. Listen to him roar, you'll say. I hear the roar of the ocean, she'll reply. So this feather is uh, from my dragon's wing, you'll ask your dad. That's a nice seagull feather, he'll say. And you know what feathers are good for? Feel my dragon's sharp teeth, you'll shout. Those are just broken shells, your big sister will say. But you and your dragon, you'll know better. Just about then, your dragon will demand to be fed. First, he'll eat all the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, even the ones that were supposed to be for your sister. Then, his fiery snout will make a lemonade sizzle. Stop blowing your bubbles in your drink, your mom will say. That wasn't me, you'll answer. That was a dragon. And you'll hear a hee 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 from deep inside the sand castle. Finally, since dragons love dessert, He'll slink into the family cooler and nibble brownies when no one is looking. Whose fingerprints are in these brownies? Your dad will ask. Not fingerprints, you'll try to explain. Dragon prints. Ah, there's no such thing as a dragon. Then your dragon will snicker again. <laughs> and spray sand all over your sister. Young man, I don't think that's very funny. That wasn't me, he'll answer. It was, the, it was the dragon. I think we've had enough of this dragon business, your dad will say. I guess I've had enough of this dragon business too, you'll sigh. Oh no, poor dragon. Then you'll march over to your sandcastle and order your dragon to leave until he learns some manners. And you will vow never to build a perfect sandcastle again. at least until tomorrow. Well, I hope you enjoyed my story of when a dragon moves in. I know for me, I'm choosing on the choice board. I'm gonna make myself a nice big kite, see if I can fly it, because I love flying kites at the beach. Have an awesome week, and I can't wait to see what you come up with.
Good morning. I am so ready to take over and 